Hey. <laughs> so here is an Etihad Airways accommodation Q and A. Um, I've written a few questions that I am going to be discussing in this video. I know that you still may have a few that I haven't covered and if you do, you can leave them in the comments below. I will be answering as soon as possible. So let's begin. So this is my dressing table. This is my bed and I have put some candles, flowers, just to make it look a little bit more homely. And I love walking into my room because it really is my space now, personalized for me. And this is a view from my window. They're constructing some buildings out there. So my suitcases. Let's step out. my bathroom it's my roommate's bathroom this is the kitchen the fridge and I have this every single day I can't live without it what I also can't live without is my Nespresso machine. I love it. And this is the living space. How do you open this? This is the balcony. I really need some table and chairs. Something I may invest in soon. There's a TV. Let's go back into my room. So girly and pink. So the first one is, do you get to choose your accommodation? No, you don't. When you first join the company, they will choose your accommodation for you based on availability. That brings me to the next point or the next question, should I say, do you get to choose who you live with? I know that some of you who are looking to join Etihad may have friends already here and you may want to move in with them. They may even have available space, but unfortunately up until six months, have passed you cannot move accommodation or move in or have a friend move into your accommodation unless it is them making the request and there is space available but they have to have been in the company for over six months which accommodation is best to be honest this is definitely our interpretation um, some people prefer one accommodation over another. So, so the next question, do you get your own bathroom? I haven't heard of any crew not getting their own bathroom. However, you may not get it inside your bedroom. A lot of the rooms will have it inside their bath uh, in the bedroom. Mine doesn't. Um, there are a few that don't, but in terms of getting your own bathroom, whether it be inside or outside your bedroom, for the most part, yes, you will. So it's very nice. Do you have to pay for the accommodation? No, you don't. The company will provide this for you, fully furnished. Um, what is provided inside the accommodation? Okay, so you get your bed, you get your doona, the pillows, you get um, the desks, as you can see in the background here. The lamps, I had to pay for 
myself. I got them from Home Center, but they were actually quite cheap. Um, you're provided with all of the cooking utensils that you may need and um, a fridge, couch, dining table, um, basically everything that you may need is provided for you. So alcohol, is alcohol allowed inside the accommodation? Yes it is, but you need to have an alcohol license. So make sure you get that. Um, you can only get that actually after you get your Emirates ID, which is about halfway through the training. So you'll need to wait until then uh, to purchase alcohol. What time can visitors stay up until? They can stay until three in the morning. I'm trying to think of what else. Does the accommodation have a pool, a spa, a gym? Okay, this depends on the accommodation. My accommodation personally does not have a pool, but it does have a gym and it has cafes, restaurants, etc. Some accommodation um, do provide a pool, but again, it really depends on the accommodation. Uh, there used to be accommodation in the city, but they closed them down because it was too far from the airport. So now you'll find that the accommodation is all very close to the airport. The next question, are you allowed to share your apartment with a guy um, if you're a girl or a girl if you're a guy? Well. Yes, provided that you are married, that is the law in the UAE that you need to be married in order to live together. Now, in terms of the actual accommodation, like the building, you can be sharing with um, with both. So that is not a problem. And a lot of the times I find that crew are making friends and relationships because they're in the same building as each other. So, yeah. So how old is the accommodation that Eddie had provide you with. Again, it depends on the accommodation, but the oldest one is only about 10 years, so it's not that old at all. And even then it's very nice. So don't judge the accommodation on how old or new it is, because like I said, they all have their pros and cons. So if you guys have any questions or any new videos that you would like to see from me, let me know in the comments below. Um, I will be very happy to answer those questions and to um, provide new content for you. It's something that I enjoy doing and I know that you guys can benefit from it as well. So um, that's it for now and I hope wherever you guys are in the world that you're having a good day or night or morning and I will see you for the next video. Bye!